Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this ball bouncing motion graphics text animation in After Effects. That too without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, 330 UPS, duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. Now first we are going to add our text, so for that let's select the text tool. Just simply click and type whatever you want. I am going to type boxed and for the font I am using this Montserrat black font. Again it's completely up to you, you can use whatever font you want. Now let's quickly align it to the center. So let's align it using the align panel. If you are not able to see this then you can go to windows and from here you can click on this. And once you have this let's make it sync point in the center. Now we are going to separate each of individual characters onto each layer, so for that click you can just simply select this let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one i'm going to quickly change its color to white and let's just type the individual character so let's type b and let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate this let's type o and just repeat this step so now i have typed all of these letters individually now we can align them to their respective position so just simply place it wherever you feel like So now I have placed all of these text individually to their respective location. Now we can hide this background text because we don't need to save it. And now we can hide all of these other text as well for now. Now we are going to create a ball or a circle to add our animation to. So for that let's select the this and just simply click and draw. So it will draw a circle. Let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So we can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we can make sure that it is also in the center somewhere around here. Now let's animate it by adding a keyframe for its scale. Let's add a keyframe for its position. Now let's press U. And first we are going to add a simple scaling animation. So for that let's just set this value to 0. And let's move somewhere around 8 frames and I'm going to set this value to 1. 30 and let's move like four frames ahead and let's set its value to 90 or for this one we can make it like 120 or something and let's go a couple of frames ahead and just set this to 100 so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice like animating sort of thing we can select the keyframes press f9 to ease them perfect now once you have this we want our ball to like push away from here so for that we can add a keyframe and let's move like a couple of frames ahead and I want its position to like go to somewhere around this point and also I want the scale to like go down something like this. Now we can select these two keyframes press F9. Let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph. For this one we want it to like start a little bit faster and then we can have it like So now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice motion and we can move these keyframes far away. So after this point, we want this to like shoot away and just reach to this ball, ball end. So for that, let's move somewhere around here and I'm going to in first move it so that it is over here. Let's increase the size as well. And now we can just place it so that it is touching the wall. Perfect. Let's play with their easing as well. So let's go inside this. And this one we want it to like start really slow and at the end we want it to have this very nice impact. So I'm going to just change the curve to look like that. Now let's play with the timing. If I press play we have this thing and I think this looks good. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So once we have this, we are ready to enable our text. So let's select everything. Let's enable them. Let's add a keyframe for position. Let's add keyframe for rotation as well. Let's press U. And this is going to be a final position and rotation. So I'm going to move these keyframes far away and somewhere around here. Let's just quickly align them in the center so that we can move them all at once. And let's just move them somewhere around here. Now we can select all of these layers and we can randomly move them here and there. Just randomly like align them however you want. So some text will be 
rotate it clockwise some will be anti-clockwise there you go now if i press play you can see we have this our text going back to its original position let's play with it seizing as well so select all the keyframes press f9 and for this one we want them to start very fast so i'm going to change the curve to look like this and once you're done with this let's go back and let's play with the timing and i think this looks good maybe we can make it a little bit faster just drag the keyframes closer there you go now we have our text now as soon as the ball touches we want it to bounce back to its original location so for that let's select this and let's select this and let's move it over here and let's press s for scale let's just lower it down to something that we find looks good so let's just place it over here i think this looks good now let's go somewhere in the middle and we want this ball to follow the arc path not the straight path so let's just move it over here let's press u so you can see that it is it will move something like that now in order to make this path more smooth we can select the pen tool and if i just click you can see it will create these handles so i can just simply move these handles however i want now we can just simply select this and let's just move it over here so that this ball is following this very nice curved path perfect now let's play with their easing as well so for that let's select these position keyframes let's go to the curves and for this one we want it to like start really fast so for that first let's select them let's press f9 let's start start them really fast and let's make it like that and somewhere around here we can make it like slow and at the end we can have like extreme speed so now if i press play you can see we have this ball bouncing but we don't want it to stop over here so for that we can select this keyframe then right click keyframe velocity and make sure that this continuous lock is checked click on ok let's go back now if i zoom in we can just simply select these keyframes and just lift it up something like that so now if i press play you can see our ball will not stop and it will follow this very nice and continuous motion now at last we want this ball to like slowly bounce and let me just quickly play with this as well now as soon as it strikes the ground we want it to like bounce back and uh, let's just move it closer and after this we can like zoom in and let's move like a couple of frames so for example let's move like over here and we can make it go up a little bit and then again move like a couple of frames ahead and we can like move it back to its original position then move a little bit ahead and let's just lift it up a little bit and then again move a little bit far away and just copy and paste it so that it is always so that it is back to the ground now we can select these keyframes and let's play with their easing and first let's select everything press f9 to ease them now we are going to continue this pattern so i'm going to like make it like that so that we have this bounce and after that we can make this one a little bit slower and this one we can make it like that and something like this now if i press play you can see we have this very nice bounce and maybe we can tweak this further and maybe we can like add a little bit more spacing between them now let's add a little bit more spacing so select everything hold on the alt key and just move them a little bit ahead there you go so now we have this bouncing and does not matter if it is perfect or not because we are going to add some echo effect which will eliminate all these things also we don't want this text to appear in the beginning so let's just go to this point and we can select all of these layers and just trim them so that it is not visible and there you go now we have this very nice animation now in order to add a little bit of trailing so for that we can just simply select and let's right click and create an adjustment layer and on top of this one we can apply echo effect let's drag it onto this change the echo timing to negative 0 0.001 and let's increase the number of echoes also let's set this to maximum 
now if i press play you can see we have this very nice trail behind everything now we can increase it by simply increasing this value now it will make your system go a little bit slow but i think the effect we are getting is worth it so let's quickly change their color so i'm going to select all of them and let's just duplicate them and i'm going to place this on above this adjustment layer so that we don't have any kind of color onto this but we can apply fill to this these bottom ones and let's just apply fill to one of these layers let's just change its color to blue just copy this and just paste it onto all of these other layers so now if i press play you can see at last we have our final animation we have our ball we have our text and everything nicely aligned so in this way you can create these kind of motion graphics text animation and the best thing is that if you really want to change anything you can just simply do that so for example if i have to change the text let's just simply enable this text and let's say i want to type something else then i can just simply delete all of these layers and let's just quickly change the text over here so this will s now let's select everything let's press u let's go to the final position and let's just quickly change them so let's align the s let's align the m now we have our text there you go. now we have changed our text let me just quickly hide this and again we can select everything press ctrl d let's place them below this adjustment layer so that we have some really nice colors let's just add fill copy and just paste them to all of these layers and let's add change the color to this as well so now if i press play you can see we have changed our color we have changed our text and all the animations are already applied so this is how you can create these kind of motion graphics text animation in after effects now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one